Like and subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon to get new video updates. Bader and Volpe helped the Yanks beat Cards 6-2 for the doubleheader split after losing the opener 11-4 St. Louis, Harrison Bader received a 30-second standing ovation upon his return to St. Louis, IV invested here for many years, the love and appreciation for it, that s why I am doing it, Bader said after winning the New York help the Yankees beat the Cardinals 6-2 on Saturday. Knight. Bader was playing in St. Louis for the first time since the Yankees took him on the trade last year, given deadline for a deal with left-hander Jordan Montgomery. Bader, a crowd favorite, who made his major league debut with the Cardinals in 2017, spent Friday visiting kids at Cardinals Glennon Hospital, going 0 for 3, and hitting a sacrifice fly in the first inning. That was incredible, he said. I was trying to keep my emotions under control holding back as many emotions as possible, and just concentrating on getting out there and just playing the game. St. Louis won the rain interrupted opener 11-4 behind Paul Goldschmidt's green three-run homer against Luis Severino in a five-run period. Jack Flaherty threw six shutouts, Goldschmidt had four RBIs, and Nolan Gorman also hit a home run for the Cardinals, who hit double-digit runs for the first time since May 21. Then, on the night, Rookie Anthony Volpe scored a green triple as part of his fifth straight multi-hit game. Volpe has increased his average from .193 to .220 in his last six games. Isaiah Kiner Falifa scored three in the second game, as the Yankees won for the fifth time in their last seven games. In his last eight games, he hit .455 with seven RBIs. Tonight we were able to play a bit of small ball, said Kiner Falifa. Lars Nooper hit a home run for St. Louis that fell to 34-48. It was its worst 82-game start since 1990. Nooper hit a home run on opener Ian Hamilton in the first inning, as the Yankees bullpened because of Friday's rain outages. Michael King allowed one hit, while throwing a goalless led to a season high of three and one-third innings. Wandy Peralta, Tommy Conley and Clay Holmes followed with one inning.